so there's a few things that I want to tell you. In the previous video, I told you to relax sometimes when you're in an artist residency. I am now at the end of the second week, so there's a lot going on, I'm working a lot. Eventually the actual work started, so I told you before in the previous video that I realized what I'm going to do when I'm going to work with the canals. I'm going to talk with people and making portraits of them who are living and working with the canals. And eventually this is what I'm doing now. I'm walking around the canals and I'm riding with my bicycle and I'm talking with people a lot. And I'm taking a lot of photographs, trying to connect things and collect things. So I'm trying to collect stories and there's a lot of fantastic stories. I mean, they're so interesting and different. And I'm meeting with characters that I never met before. You know, you're talking with a lot of people and you're, you're collecting all this information. It's, it's a really, really exhausting thing. In documentary photography and portrait photography, you always have to be ready. You always have to be focused. For example, the other day with one of my characters, with Danny. This is an interesting part of working in documentary, photography and video. I'm waiting for Danny. She's coming with a boat and I want to take a photograph of her. Yeah, I think she's coming. I see the reflection on, on, the, on the window. It's really intense and you have to be, you have to be ready. There she goes. It's her. I'm going to take a photograph of her. I show you the boat. You can see the boat right now. Yeah, and I took the photograph, but I can show you now. This is what I've been doing, you know, like I'm collecting all these materials and I'm trying to collect them and I'm always thinking about the next video portraits, how I'm going to, you know, put them together. It's a lot of work and also I've got a lot of materials. So, for example, the other day I went to the market. That is also a really fascinating, amazing place. The people there, the sellers are are shouting like in rhythms. There's a lot of amazing characters there as well. I talked with a few of them and there was this guy who was telling me that he's working with fishes since he's six. So he knows everything about fishes and fishing. I was just walking around this huge market with full with people, with full with energy and it was it was really really interesting and i forget that i didn't eat breakfast i went to the market to eat breakfast but i forgot it so i almost fainted for the third time since i'm here it's just amazing how i'm not able to take care of myself when i'm working I had a little time to chill as well and I met with these fantastic people, a group of artists here also really different and, and magical and I really enjoyed spending time with them and hopefully I will be meeting with them again. And then I went to the reggae festival. I arrived alone, my friends came later. In that one hour I felt like I'm in another country. She says she wants a man just like me. She says I got a bad attitude. She says she like it all. She says we like it all. She says she wants a good girl. We want you. It was just, you know, full with beautiful, fantastic people. The vibe was amazing and the music was awesome. Them a bit in America or coming on ya. Yeah. Chuck. Sure. Well, anyway, you duck, you see me, I get older. And me find me up and they go be in my shoulder. It helped me massage it and go to the sauna. Another pain reliever is the marijuana. You know, say, I know, like that, you know, me, I know. 
faker. Just give me the card, doctor, give me the paper. Only this morning, me get this idea, yeah. Me need some medicine from Jamaica. So now the actual work started, which means that after my research, or after all the knowledge that I, I was collecting, I'm just, you know, taking photographs continuously and making videos continuously about everything what is happening with me. When I have time, I'm trying to to connect these materials, to to arrange them a little bit. You have to say to yes to everything, but other people are suggesting you to go for like, for example, to this Reggae Festival, that you, you just go there because you don't know what's going to happen. That's the beautiful thing about it. You don't know what's going to happen. So that's why you have to go. And usually it's going to be interesting because you you never been to this place. I've never been to these places. So th is, there's something that you can learn, something new that you can learn. Thank you so much for watching and see you later.